Buenos dias, amigos. As you probably read, today we're going to be building a retro pie cart. The cart will not, as you read, be made out of an SNES cart. That was subterfuge. I'm sorry. First, the retro pie itself. Retro pie zero W. Now I'm going to go over and it looks like I'm going to grab uh, some kind of a, a cord. It, it might be an HDMI mini male to HDMI female. Um, now we've got the USB hub that essentially turns your one USB output into three. Amazing the time we live in. This is a standard piece of cutlery. You use it to cut things, um, usually food, but today we're gonna, we're gonna be using it for our purposes. Shaving cream, I don't know why I grabbed that, um, you know, maybe I thought I needed a shave subconsciously. Who knows. Now I'm taking an extra long time to sort through the material, um, this is kind of awkward. I, I don't really have anything to say here. Uh, what do you guys think about? Oh, here we go. There is a um, another cord of some type. Um, it probably has something to do with the USB, maybe USB Firewire, maybe another cord right there. I. Oh, don't know what that was. I want you to see it only for a second for some reason. Well, alas, let's continue on. As you see, we needed a little bit more workspace for our SanDisk 32 gigabyte USB thumb drive. Pretty impressive, eh? Now, let's let's meander to this super shiny thing. It sure looks like a cell phone charger to me. I sure hope it's not super cheap and from five below that could, you know, maybe start a fire. That was me inhaling. Um, that is an empty can of beer. Um, again, I'm, I'm really not sure the purpose for that. I, I may have been drunk when I put this video together. I can't say for certain. This is a USB Buffalo SNES controller. It works pretty well. Um, maybe a little stiff. I can't say for sure. I haven't played a real SNES in some time. This is a cheap rock candy PlayStation 3 controller. Also usable on the device. It um, needs AAA batteries for some reason though. This, as you probably know, is a Microsoft Xbox 360 controller. It will not work, so I disposed of it quite quickly. Um, God only knows what that is. Uh, I'm just going to set it there for now, I guess. Hopefully, um, hopefully I knew what I needed to do with it back then. <clears throat> Some Scotch 3M double-sided outdoor tape. Just like all those other videos, and of course, a couple markers. You gotta mark up, you know, make plans, schedule, and... The sacrifice, boy! Now! Now that that's out of the way, let's continue with the project. Here I have a box of macaroni and cheese. Again, I'm sorry, I... I don't know what I was thinking. Let's watch me destroy it and toss it aside callously. Now I'm going to walk over to the left for a minute. Um, always proper protection. You're going to need goggles. We don't need any, um, you know, chunks to be flying into my eye or, you know, my scrotum or anything. Now the patient is prepped. Let's zoom in awkwardly. All right, now watch as I zoom out awkwardly. Good. 
gloves went off. I don't know why I took them off. I mean, I was all prepped for surgery. I'm going to have to wash my hands all again now. Now for the... to mark the place for the incision. This is, again, going to be slow and awkward, I presume. So, um, you know, what do you guys think about, uh, politics? Pretty crazy, huh? I can't believe they elected that Joker, Isaac Taft. Now, see here, this, this is the main reason why I only date double or even quadruple amputees. They, um, their arms never get in your way, and, of course, they... You know, they can't really strike you or defend themselves in any way. They basically are, um, well, they're like an object for you to have your way with. Now that I've marked the place for the incision, time to, uh, time to begin. No, I don't think that's going to do it. What about this? Oh, yeah. The time is now, my dear. Your pretty little cranium is going bye-bye. My assistant has strapped down the patient, as you can see, and now that uh, she's no longer alive, she'll be a lot easier to work with. Now, as you can see, that's what the inside of her brain looks like. Um, I'd say pretty similar to the average brain of that of an American girl. Or boy, I'm not a sexist in any way. After grabbing her ass off camera, thankfully, this is, um... This is where we're going to be placing her new brain. Grab that 3M tape that I told you about and apply it to the top of the cranium. Now, off camera, ejaculate for about 10 to 15 seconds, very briefly. Now, I want you to grab the retro pie and awkwardly stick it onto the adhesive tape. Now, you have to hold it down for 30 seconds for a secure hold. So unfortunately, you cannot masturbate right now. Maybe use the other hand. Well, I think I got it there, and I'm going to grab her again. And since I'm all excited and hot and bothered, I might as well get busy again. So, uh, that's what I'm doing. Pay no mind. Put her back down. All right, okay. Now, um... Now's the time for awkward jump cuts, where I move her cranium to the other table. Now to tie her down once again. You never know when a doll might go berserk and attack you. And here's the, the really icky part. Welcome back. Now that that's done, um, we're gonna, again, off camera, do something. Looks like I need that knife now. Uh, look at this. I'm jamming it right in her ears. The old-fashioned lobotomy. Ooh, it's gotta hurt, huh? Good thing, um, good thing I made sure she was dead. This isn't, uh, 
This isn't my first time butchering a helpless doll. I'm sorry, people. I need help. Someone please help me. Look at that. We got a nice hole over there. I wonder what I have planned for that. No, whoop, no, for symmetry, we're gonna we're gonna add another one right there. This one uh, appears to be a little bit tougher. I'm having a bit of a hard time with it. Look at that. I I God, I must have been drunk. Um keeps going, it keeps going. Um you know, how many times have I said um in this video? They make a pretty good drinking game, uh you know, just for safety's sake, um. Alright, again, off camera, I'm doing something. For some reason, it's very bright. I did this in pitch black. I don't know why that happened. Uh, still, still struggling to do whatever I was doing there. Uh, now I'm foregoing the knife completely. Dropped it on the ground. Long live the new flesh. Alright. Now that that's out of the way, you can see the USB hub is safely anchored within her mouth. I'm now plugging it in. It is plugged in to the RetroPie. It um, accepts only micro USB, so you're going to need some kind of a converter of some type. I believe, I believe mine is made of gems. Now for the power portion. It is probably 121 gigawatts or so. I'm pretty sure that's not how you say gigawatts though. I I don't know. I'm no scientist. I'm just a man. A simple man who loves butchering children. I mean, dolls. And only, you know, just to kill time. Just to, you know, suppress that violent rage that burns within each of us. Sometimes I think it, um, it will send the world aflame, leaving nothing but ash. Alright, it looks like, again, off, for some reason, off camera, I'm attempting to plug in the either HDMI or USB hub. Seem to be having a real tough time, again. I mean, maybe, maybe I could have got a better pair of gloves, or just you know, not worn gloves. I'm sorry, I have a flair for the dramatic. Looks like I got one of them. Uh, again, I'm taking it off camera. This is, you know, really not good if you're trying to follow this as some kind of a guide or something. Uh, in fact, I've been really undescriptive. I would say use a different one if you want to build one of these Raspberry Pi Zero W mini computers, I guess you could call it. Like, um, that was literally like 30 seconds of trying to plug in a cord. Wow. Maybe I was on mescaline that day. Could have been that. I really, um, like I said, I really, I really can't remember. Alright, it looks like now everything's in place. Now I just have to jam her new, her new central nervous system into her brain. Um, I guess not. I'm just gonna plug everything back in again. Incredibly slowly again, most likely. You know, I feel like sometimes I'm just wasting everyone's time. Do you guys think so? Le say so in the comments. Uh, also, leave a like and a dislike. Get them for both. I go for the entire market, both sides of the aisle. Because unlike them, I will never say anything polarizing. Now as I continue to fiddle around with the chords, I use the other hand to again masturbate. Perhaps I thought that would settle my nerves, make things go a little bit easier. And who's to say that it wouldn't? i found that in times of stress, the best way to settle them is to sit down, have some crack, and, you know, just hang out for a couple hours. By the time that's done, you really, really forgot about what you were uh, pissed off about. And you're super tired. Makes going to sleep a sweet dream. Alright, uh, I've wasted enough of your time, I believe. I 
I'm pretty sure that I just showed you the exact same footage back to back. Um, I don't know why I I had a double to the timeline, but um, you know, there you go. Thank you. television screen is the retina of the mind's eye. Therefore, the television screen is part of the physical structure of the brain. Therefore, whatever appears on the television screen emerges as raw experience for those who watch it. Therefore, television is reality, and reality is less than television. I've got something I want to play for you. Oh my God! Get the video drone! Long live the new flesh! Hash name Nasi Nam Nima Three the Orsidir Zilkalakan and Ashna of Nakmuslo Mark Yelthuk Ganima.